Hey friends, Greg with the Pennywise guys. I want to show you a real simple and inexpensive way to repair leather seats that have been peeling and cracking. Let's get started. You can see the damage that is caused by allowing this leather to dry out and it starts to crack and peel. I showed you how to rehydrate the leather. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of that um, today after I get all this done because uh, the leather is so dry that the rest of it is, like I showed you in the last video, is going to look like this if I let it go any longer. So I rehydrated it with uh, olive oil and it worked out really well. I'm going to give it a second drink today later on. We're going to focus on this repair. Uh, there is a lot of dimension here of it peeling and curling. So the first thing we need to do is trim off the part that's curled up. Just take a straight razor blade and go lay it flat, run it along the edge of that curl, and trim, trim it off just like that. So it's now flush. Uh, I'm going to continue to do this here. It's a quite a long process to get all this trimmed down so it lays flat. We can't have it curling up. We need to lay it flat like this. So I'm going to keep going here. Careful not to cut yourself, but just, just do this here to where it lays flat. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to continue this and then we're going to go ahead and show you what to do after it's all laying flat. I went ahead and uh, got this finished up here. I could not avoid cutting through some of the fabric in order to get all the curled um, leather off of there. I have to have this laying flat. So that's okay. We're, we're good, for, good for there. Just a sawing action with the razor blade, laying it flat, and just rub it, your hand across there, and you can tell that it's laying pretty flat. So we're going to be okay for this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and apply this black colored Dynaflex Ultra uh, by DAP. It's a um, very good flexible adhesive caulking for windows, doors, and siding. Exterior uh, grade, very flexible, and it's paintable. So if you have uh, a color that you can't match, they come in tan, brown, black, white. Pick one and then use some latex matched colored paint uh, with a um, semi-gloss finish and go ahead and um, or even a, uh, a satin finish and go ahead and paint it to match after you apply this. We're going to put on two coats and uh, we're going to show you how this works. I mean, it, it bonds really well to the fabric and it ties it all together and blends the whole thing out to where it's not going to be perfect but we're going to have a, um, a pretty, pretty, pretty nice uh, finish when we get done here. Use a caulking gun, go ahead and put some on a uh, Bondo squeegee, okay? And uh, we're just going to go ahead and start applying this. Get it worked into the fabric and into the foam. Okay. And uh, put another load on here. I'm working from the back seat, so it's a little bit hard to, um, to reach and to videotape this, but we're going to get her done. And I'm working it into the um, the beading here on the seam, so get it get it coated well. This color is pretty close, and so I'm not going to paint it. Nice thing with the black interior, you can um, use this black adhesive caulking and get it. So you're going to have to get one coat on, and don't don't leave any ridges. Just get it as smooth as you can and then we're going to come back and put a second application on. Okay and make sure I have another squeegee here. I can um, just run across that groove. I don't want to interfere with that, that ribbing there. 
and make sure it's squeezed in there. Now it looks good. Okay, I'm going to leave that for there. I'm going to leave that and then we're going to put in a second coat after this cures. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop here and let this dry and cure for a day or two and put the second coat on and then let it dry another day or two and put a third coat on. Uh, what happens is the, the caulking will shrink and then it'll leave, you know, bumps and uh, divots. And so by putting a second real thin coat, let it cure, third coat, it'll really smooth out and, and uh, look really good. It's all sealed up. It's uh, bound together with the, uh, the fabric and the foam and everything. And so it's, it's going to stay and it's going to be a permanent fix. I'll do another video here next week or so to show the finished results of this and the seats when I'm completed. I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.